How are you doing? Good afternoon. Good, oh, good morning. Uh, this is Mr. Wilford. I'm excited to uh, continue to work on our Unit 8 Transformations Unit with you, Math 8. Um, let's dive right into what we are doing. So I believe we're working on 8.4. Give me one second. Let me get it open. We are working on 8.4. Excellent. Okay, great. So what we were talking about last time is we talked about reflections, right? We talked about reflections and how the keyword for reflections is to flip an image, right? We have worked on so far flipping it over the X axis and flipping it over the Y axis, which are both great. But we need to also be able to flip it over vertical and horizontal lines that are not the X axis and are not the Y axis. And that's why the last lesson I gave you guys uh, was to practice actually um, identifying um, horizontal and vertical lines, right? So to practice graphing them. And I know we did that in the earlier units as well, but I wanted to make sure that you guys remembered how to graph them. So when it says flip it over the Y equals three or reflect it over X equals negative two, those are not foreign to you. And you're like, oh yeah, I remember those horizontal and vertical lines. Um, I know what they look like. Now I just gotta practice flipping the image over. So my goal today is to, to show you how to flip an image over horizontal and vertical lines by using the reflection rules. And then what we're gonna do is <clears throat> um, just practice that, pretty much that concept for now. Okay, so um, first let's start off with the bell work. The bell work wants you to write the rules for reflecting an image over the X and Y axis. And you can use your notes from the previous lesson. So take a second, um, pause the video, right, to complete the bell work. And you're gonna to write uh, what happens uh, when you reflect it over the X axis. What happens when you reflect it over the Y axis? And if you can remember the coordinate notation, uh, that'll be great as well. So take a moment, pause it, and, uh, and I'll give you a second to pause it and I'll go over with you. All right, great. So let's do it. So how do the coordinates change when you uh, flip a point or uh, an image over the X axis? So what happens? I'll tell you what happens, right? The X, uh, oh, sorry, let me actually get the, um, markers up here there we go all right so uh the x stays the same right so the when we flip it over the x-axis x stays the same whereas the y is it's the inverse of y right so if y was negative it becomes positive if it was positive, it becomes negative. So I'm just going to write the inverse of y. Okay? And what is that as a coordinate notation? So the coordinate notation for this, it goes from x, y to x, comma, negative y. Because we said x stays the same. Now, what about when we reflect it over the y-axis? And this is just reflect, just re re um, reviewing and refreshing our information on flipping over these two axes. But if we reflect it over the y-axis, that means that y is going to stay the same. And we're going to have the inverse of x. Okay? And now, once again, we go x to y. Now, why is it x to y rather than y x? It's because x is always the first uh, point, right? And that goes from x y goes to negative x now, comma y, because we said y stays the same, right? So these are the coordinate notations that we should be able to practice, as well as identify when we're flipping it over those images. And a lot of you guys submitted your work, and honestly, it was really good. I was very impressed. Um, some students I was like very happy for that they was remembering it and getting it. Um, but if you are still struggling with um, identifying reflections, please go back and visit 8.3 and also practice with 8.3a or 8.2 and also 8.3, all right, and 8.3a. Okay, so let's continue to move on. So our goal once again is to talk about how do we describe, well, um, uh, oh, sorry. If you need to copy it down, please pause it, copy it down. I'm going to clear the text. All right, good. All right, so how do we describe the properties of reflection? I, I said it earlier. I said the key words of reflection is the word flip. We're flipping an image over a line of reflection. The vocabulary words still say reflection is a transformation that flips an image, and you see that keyword flips. And a line 
uh, the line is called a line of reflection um, that we're going to flip it over. And each point in its image are the same distance from that line of reflection. So let's do some modeling. So what I want to do is this. I'm giving you this triangle. Triangle LUX, right? So triangle LUX is given to you, right? I haven't given you the points, but we're going to find the points for those. And then there's two prompts that I give you. One is to reflect it over Y equals 3. And the other is to flip it, uh, uh, reflect it over X equals 1 to create L double prime, U double prime, and X double prime. So what we need to do in this situation is we need to say, okay, great. I'm going to first identify what is L, what is U, and what is X, right? What are these three points? And I'm going to show you the way to flip it over these um, vertical and horizontal lines um, in a way that we didn't really do it the other day when we flipped it over the X and Y axis. I kind of showed you, but I explained it to you the way I'm going to explain it to you today. Because I think the way to flip it over horizontal and vertical lines is a little bit different than if you were flipping over the X and Y axis. There's a, there's a notation that goes with the X and Y axis. However, when you flip it over these two horizontal and vertical lines, it's a little bit different. First, start by identifying L, U, and X. So what are the coordinates for L, U, and X? Right, take a second to see if you can copy those down. Pause the video. See if you can figure out what those three points are. Okay, great. Now, let me go over them with you to make sure we got the same exact points. So for L, when I look at L, I see that it has negative three on the X, right? So when I'm going to write down the actual coordinate here, I'm gonna write negative three, right? And then the Y value is one, so negative three, one. When I look at U, I see it goes negative three as well, and then it goes up five. So the X value is negative three, okay? while the y value here is five. When I look at the x here, x doesn't move at all, right, on the x-axis, doesn't move at all on the x-axis, but it does still go up and it goes up five units on the y. Sorry, that five may be a little messed up, but wonderful, okay? So we have negative three, one, negative three, five, and zero, five. Okay, these are our three points for L, U, and X. Now, they want me to find L prime, U prime, and X prime by reflecting over this Y equals three. What I want you to put underneath the Y equals three is I want you to put, is it horizontal or is it vertical? That's the question that I would recommend you know. When you think about Y equals a number, is that a horizontal line or a vertical line, right? And if you remember from 8.3a, um, you should be able to say, okay, I know that this line is going to be horizontal line but when I go to graph this it should be horizontal okay so let's take a second to go and graph this what does y equals three look like because we got to figure out what is this line of reflection that's the line of reflection right there y equals three is a line of reflection so where is that y equals three so on the y-axis right on the y-axis I'm gonna find three a positive three one two, three. Okay, here's that positive three. Now, that means this is horizontal. The line is going to be all right here. So I'm going to actually draw me a nice solid line here. Boom. And if you want it, you can even label that, which I would suggest, like I'm going to label it because I want to make sure I know that this is, without a doubt, and I'm going to put arrows at both ends. Um, this is y equals three. Okay. They want to know what is this triangle when it's flipped over y equals three. So what does this triangle look like when it's flipped over y equals three? All right. So well, each one of these points, I need to I need to flip over this line. That means that L is going to end up on the opposite side. That means that U is going to end up on the opposite side. That means that X is going to end up on the opposite side of this red line or of this y equals three. So I'm going to take L and I'm going to say, how many spaces is it from this line, right? It's not moving over here, right? It's only going to be flipped over that line as though I was folding it in half. So I'm going to say, okay, it is one, two. It is two spaces away. I don't know if you can see that. So let me show you it, right? It's two spaces away, one space, two space. Those are two spaces away from the line. So on the other side, I'm going to make sure once again, it is two spaces away from that line. And you'll notice that this L is going to end up where U is. So I'm just going to put L 
crime right there as well, right? I'm gonna draw a nice little dot on top of the U. That's L prime as well as U, but that's L prime. So what about U? Where does U go? U ends up where L is. This becomes U prime. Now, why is that, Mr. Wilford? Because once again, how many, how far is the distance from the point U to this red line? It's two units away. So I'm gonna start from the middle of that line. All right, I'm gonna start exactly from that line. I'm gonna go two units away, one, two, and that gives me U prime. Same thing with X. I'm not focusing on this area now, I'm still focusing on the line. Straight down from that line. Good job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Straight down from where that line of reflection is, I'll say, okay, well, how far is this point here from X? Now, that's very important. Notice I didn't go from here. I didn't say, how far is it from X there? No, no, I'm going straight down. Because I'm thinking about flipping it in half. So where is it from the line right here? How far is it? It's two spaces away as well. One, two. So when I think about moving X, I'm going to move it two spaces away. One, two. So this is gonna become my new X and it's gonna be called X prime, okay? It's gonna be called X prime. Now that you have your three points, now you can create your new triangle. Boom, all right? That's my new triangle right there, L prime, U prime, and X prime. Now, if you didn't, if you wasn't able to print out this worksheet, right, and you're like, well, I can't show you that I know the picture, then what you wanna do is you wanna take a picture and tell me what the points are of each one of your things. Right, don't stop playing around, just throw it in the garbage, okay? You could throw it from there, but if you miss, you owe me $5. You owe me $5. <laughs> no, no, so just put it in the garbage, buddy, okay? Um, Cool, cool, good job, good job. All right, so um, he's as bad as Brian putting in the shots here, um, or, or Carlos. So what I wanna do is this, we wanna, um, we wanna identify what are the points for L prime, U prime, and X prime. If you don't have the actual, uh, you, you wasn't able to print out the worksheet, but you are able to identify the points, then then you wanna be able to do that. I would recommend you guys still create yourself a graph on a separate piece of paper and practice actually translating it like I did here. Um, but if you, can only cop, uh, if you can only identify what the points are from the screen, then do that too. So I have L prime, and L prime is going to be exactly what um, U was. So that's negative three, sorry, negative three, five. Right, negative three, five. And when I go down to U prime now, right, U prime is gonna be what L was which is, sorry, negative three, one, okay? And finally, what is x prime here? x prime is zero, one. Zero, one, okay? Now that's how we flip it over y equals three. Now there's one more thing we're gonna do as well is what is, how do we reflect it, how do we flip it over x equals one? How do we flip it over x equals one? Once again, I would urge you to identify x equals one, is that a vertical line or is it a horizontal line? Whenever it starts with x equals, that means it's going to be a vertical line. So I would suggest you put right underneath where it says x equals one, put underneath that, put the words vertical. Right, that way you can identify it as a vertical line. That's what this is, it's a vertical line. Okay, a vertical line. Now, we're creating L prime, L double prime, U double prime, and X double prime, and we're going from the original triangle, right? So from our original triangle, from the black one, we need to create this new one flipped over X equals one. Once again, where is X equals one? We know it's a vertical line, but where is it? Where is it? So we need to first identify where it is. Now, once again, I'm on the X axis. I'm saying positive one on X is right here. I know it's vertical, which is this way. It's up and down. So I'm gonna create a nice vertical line. Okay. I apologize about the noise. Please forgive me. Um, so we have this nice vertical line. I'm going to label it once again. Come on, let's go. 
I'm gonna label it. I'm gonna label this one x equals one. This is x equals one. This x equals one. So now I have my vertical line. I have it as x equals one. Um, now I need to take this black image and flip it over this one. I'm gonna take every single point and say, well, how far is it from this line? Not from the red line. How far is it from the green line? How far is it from x equals one? So let's start with um, let's start with x, right? I see x right here, right? I see x, and I notice that wow, look, x is only one unit away from the green line. So if it's one unit away from the green line, I'm gonna go one unit away on the other side. And now this is gonna become my x double prime. Do not label it x prime because we already have an x prime. This is x double prime, okay? I'm gonna say, okay, well, how far is u? How far is u from it? It's four units away, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go four units away. And boom, it's gonna end up right here on the corner. That is u double prime, okay? Once again, I'm counting the spaces from here to the green line. I'm not going on angles, I'm just going straight from where the point is to the green line. Same thing with L, straight from where the point is to the green line, that is four units away. You can count them if you want. One, two, three, four. Four units away. So I'm gonna go four units away in the other direction and that's gonna end up right over here. And that's gonna give me L double prime, okay? Now, once again, now that I have my triangle, I'm going to connect all the dots, right? You might want to get into the habit of checking, make sure it looks right, make sure it definitely looks the same as the other triangle. If it doesn't, then you might have done something incorrectly. And you'll see my green triangle is right there, okay? So now we just have to identify, well, what are these as points? Because uh, I would like you to know what the points are as well. Practicing identifying points is also important. So I see that L double prime is actually 5, 1. I see that U double prime is actually 5, 5. So I'm going to write 5, 5. And finally, I see that X double prime is one, five. Is that one? Nope, I lied. That's two, sorry, it's two, five. Good thing I stopped to look at it. And even if I were to write one, I would have looked back to check. I'm, I, you know, get into the habit of checking and make sure my points are right. So I see I have two, five, I have five, one, and I have five, five, perfect. Right, you can go back and check the other ones. But this is how you reflect it over a horizontal and vertical line that's not the X or the Y axis. I would recommend you draw that vertical or horizontal line, count the distance from the point to the line, that way you could practice reflecting it in those ways. All right, take a second, copy down the notes before I clear the text. All right, and clear. Now, what I want you to do as your assignment and, and as your classwork slash your homework, right? What I want you to do is begin to work on this independent practice. I give you, um, I believe I gave you two problems here, right? One is to grab uh, this triangle TYI and you gotta reflect it over Y equals negative one. Remember when it starts with Y, horizontal. When it starts with X, vertical. Make sure you identify those two lines. Then you reflect the original image over that line. Identify the points for TYI, just like we just did. Okay, and the second problem that I'm giving you to do is a, a quadrilateral, right? PMZD. Once again, identify those points for PMZD and then reflect it over these two. Y equals zero, which is actually right here because you can't go anywhere, so it's kind of here, which should give you a hint as to what line you're reflecting it over, right? And then also reflect it over X equals two, okay? Which is a vertical line. So do me a favor. Um, if you have any questions, please comment them inside the Google Classroom portal. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm gonna be live um, in another uh, hour. Uh, that way we can talk, I can answer your questions, um, but I'm hoping that, if, uh, that you guys are getting as much as you can. If you need to rewind the video, play it again, please do so. I thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you.